Minecraft limited edition. It's one of these limited edition one-off videos where I just show off a thingy that I made. And so let's call it lines. Let's put ourselves in creative structures off. Let's get a redstone ready world, create new world. And I made a little one command contraption just as I was playing around with different things. But basically, if I give at p command block and I paste in a jimungus command into the command block and I activate some redstone, it will instantly go ahead and create this whole giant command structure. And what this thing does is it allows me to say scoreboard players set at p endpoint one and da, da 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 it summons an armor stand all those command blocks no actually that's not that's not all that this thing does uh, i can run it again and give it a second endpoint and it will kind of create a line and show me the line with barrier particles and then if i actually want to fill that line in i can set a score of endpoint to two and it will actually fill that in with stone which is not all that interesting, but then you know you can do other things with it as well. For example, I can put an endpoint here, and we can go at an angle, and so it's not just you know straight lines along the axis, but I could put a line over here as well. And if I go ahead and fill that in, draw a line kind of at an angle, and it just kind of draws a straight line at that appropriate angle, and so that is kind of cool, and it works you know kind of in any any direction along any axis. And so I can run over here as well, and I don't know, let's do a very steep one over here. Like so, and basically it gives you a preview of the line it's about to draw, and then if you want to keep it, you can go ahead and turn it into stone like that. But Minecraft, of course, is a three-dimensional world, and so of course we can do this in three dimensions as well. And so I could put one over here, and I could put another one, I don't know, way up here. And it will draw a straight line between those things. And if I want to keep that, I can do that. And there is a crazy <laughs> three-dimensional stone straight line between those points uh, as much as you can. This is basically using, I don't know, basic raster graphics computer algorithms. I, I think it's called Bresenhen's algorithm. I got it off of Wikipedia. I know I took a graphics class like 20 years ago where I learned a little bit about this stuff, but I'd forgotten it all. But fortunately, Wikipedia is here to remind me of these algorithms. And so that's kind of the line drawing algorithm that I am using. If you want to check it out for yourself, beware of the fact that the uh, Wikipedia page has a bug in its code that it has listed on the page. But yeah, it's a line drawing thing. And as you might guess, I give the little preview because if you are drawing some lines and then you decide, you know what, I don't really want that line. You can just leave it there and after 10 or 15 seconds, the barrier particles will dissipate and you can go create another one without actually drawing the line there. So this is basically just to give you a preview so you can see what you're doing and decide if you want to draw the line or not. And yeah, in addition to, so Bressenham's algorithm needs kind of like a point to start and then like a DX, DY, DZ, uh, coordinates in order to draw the line and actually computing dx dy dz between two armor stands as it were or between two entities in the world is a challenge in and of itself and so i have a binary search algorithm that could find can find them up to like 127 blocks away in any direction and so um so long as one entity is within 127 blocks of the other entity it can compute the dx dy dz between those two guys and as a result, be able to use the line drawing algorithm. And barrier particles, for whatever reason, like stick around for a few seconds, even after you've uh, finished summoning them or particling them or whatever you do. So I don't know. I made this thing. It was a fun way to kind of learn some new stuff and practice with command blocks. But it's the case. I've probably been spending, I don't know, like six hours a day for the past month using the new command blocks. And so I'm gaining a lot of expertise kind of on my way to mastery. There's still a whole lot more things to learn. But I don't know. I don't feel like this by itself is kind of a thing yet, but it feels like it could be part of a thing. 
And so maybe with some more parts, it would turn into like a cool drawing utility in vanilla Minecraft. I have another, I have another similar kind of thing that I made. Let me go grab it actually. Hold on just one second. So here's another command block contraption. This one draws circles using midpoint circle algorithm. And so Kazam, I made this one a while ago and so it has a different type of interface. Uh, but basically I could say scoreboard players set at p circle y uh, 10 and loop it goes and it draws a circle of radius 10 and yeah you can just draw circles of different radii and so yeah once again kind of like by itself it's a little bit interesting and novel but it's nothing too special or whatever um, and so i'm not sure kind of what to do with these things but i've been playing around with them and so i just thought that I should show off some of the stuff that I've been playing around with in addition to programming Minecraft Bingo. This is kind of the type of thing I spend spend my days doing. You could imagine, you know, like, I don't know, making a turret of a castle and you have like a bunch of circles and then you, you know, make a little cone at the top using these things, maybe? I don't know. I feel like I have pieces of some interesting things here, but I haven't put them together into a cool idea yet. So if you have cool ideas, by all means, let me know. Uh, I've been enjoying using Minecraft command blocks for kind of hobby programming, but trying to decide if I want to go in any other directions with different things or whatever. But I just thought I would show off some of what I've been working on in addition to working on Minecraft Bingo and making the learning command blocks tutorial series, which I still plan to do at least one more episode of. Uh, so stay tuned for that, hopefully in the next week. But... Yeah, I don't know that I have a lot to say. I just wanted to kind of like show off some ideas and see if it helped give people other ideas of other things that I can make because I'm not sure what I should do with all this. I feel like I have I have a fair amount of expertise at this point programming command blocks, but I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll come up with some ideas and maybe you guys can help me brainstorm. In any case, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon with more Minecraft. Bye-bye.